Hello my friends! Welcome back to another episode of Crafton, where every week we make different fun, family-friendly crafts with objects that you probably already have around your house. So today's project I am affectionately calling Miss Brittany Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> Look how cute this little lamb is. Uh, this is what we're going to be making today. And the things that you will need, you need Q-tips or cotton swabs, a good number of them, uh, some white construction paper, and maybe one other color if you so choose, a black marker, some glue, any type of glue you have is totally fine, uh, and some tape. Again, whatever kind of tape you have is also fine. So one more time, we need Q-tips or cotton swabs, white construction paper, maybe another color construction paper, a black marker, some glue, some scissors, did I say scissors? We need scissors too. And some tape. So if you don't have those things right in front of you, go ahead and push pause, and I will be waiting for you when you come back. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to need to do in order to make our Miss Brittany Had a Little Lamb is we're going to cut out two ovals from our white piece of construction paper. A bigger oval and a smaller oval. These don't have to be perfect, uh, so just have fun with them. Don't stress because they're gonna get covered up anyway. So our big oval, what do you think that's gonna be for? It's for our body, the body of our little lamb. And then our little oval is going to be for the head. Great. So there's my big oval. And here is almost, almost, almost. Did it. My small oval. Easy peasy. Do you hear my dogs barking in the background? <laughs> Perks of working from home. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take our big oval and we're gonna take our glue and we're going to start to glue pieces of our um, Q-tips to the body of the little lamb. So what I did was I took my Q-tips and I cut some of them in half. So it was like this and I just cut them in half. And then I cut some of them where I just have the little Q-tip part. Uh, so first I'm gonna take the ones that I cut in half and I'm gonna start to glue them all the way around the body of the lamb, see, all the way around. Uh, so depending on what type of glue you're using, this project could uh, take a little bit longer or a little bit shorter amount of time. So I'm using Gorilla Glue, which um, is not really the best choice for this, but that's the type of glue that I have in my house. Um, and it should make it not take too long at all. Um, however, if you have a glue stick um, or uh, like Elmer's glue, it's gonna take a little bit longer because you're going to need to take time to let all of your Q-tips really stick down nicely. Um, if you have a glue gun, that's gonna be your fastest option because you can just get that really hot and glue it down immediately. So see what I'm doing? I'm just sort of making a little fan of the half Q-tips. Gonna do this all the way around. And this is gonna be one of our more time-consuming craft projects. I wouldn't say that it takes like an entire day or anything, but it's not a five-minute project. So if you're working on it right now with your family and you're like, oh, I only have five minutes. Um, maybe go ahead and pause it and pick it up later when you have a little bit more time. All right. 
lot of the time is really just gluing our Q-tips down. So. Nothing has to be perfect. I know I say that almost every week, but it's true. Nothing needs to be perfect here at Craft Time. It's about having fun and spending time with our families. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue so that I can keep going. Cause you wanna get this first one all the way around. you think my Luna dog is barking at? I'm gonna guess she's barking at either another dog uh, who walked by our house because uh, she's like I want to play I want to play I want to be your friend or she's barking at like, a little critter in the yard like a chipmunk or something she really likes to chase chipmunks. And she is the keeper of the house. Good. So what we're gonna do now is we need to take some time to let this level dry. So I'm gonna suggest that you put me on pause. Go ahead and finish your circle. And then once that first circle is dry, click play and we'll pick it up. Amazing. So hopefully your first layer is all dry. It should look something like this. You can see that I also went through and reinforced with a layer of tape just to make sure that it's really, really sturdy. You can do that um, if you're feeling like your Q-tips are not drying as well, uh, but you do not have to uh, if yours feel perfectly sturdy already. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna add another layer. So you can see from my example, we do this quite a few times. So we're going to this time use our smaller Q-tips. So the ones that we cut just the little the little fluffy parts. So same thing. I'm going to take my glue. And I'm gonna just lather it on there and start sticking. <coughs> Do you hear my husband cough? There are just so many noises right now. And he just mouthed sorry to me. But that's what happens when we work from home. And it's nice to have family time, isn't it? More time together is never a bad thing. So once again, we are just sticking all around. We want to get our little lamb nice and fluffy. So once again, I'm going to encourage us to pause our video. We'll do our next, let's say let's do our next two layers and then we will hit play again. See you then. Magic! We are flying through this. So you should at this point have one, two, three levels. And again, in between each level, because mine wasn't feeling super sturdy, I also added a, added a layer of tape just to make sure it was nice and secure. So we are gonna finish up the body of our sheep by adding just a few more uh, little mini Q-tips. Um, and I'm going to focus towards the back because my head, once we're done with it, 
is gonna go right here. So I don't need to add a whole bunch here near where it's gonna be my front. Just gonna focus on the back. So just like we've been doing, adding my glue. And this one, this level doesn't need to be nearly as precise. I'm just gonna kind of stick them on there where I think looks good. Do you hear Luna is still barking? This is a day long orcathon. So just sticking these on, sticking these on, adding a little bit of glue. Might overlap some of this level too, just to get some good dimensions. How is yours looking? Are you feeling good about it? I think that's all that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna once more for the last time, put just a little bit of tape on there. And I'm gonna let this dry while we work on the head. So while your body is drying, go ahead and take out your small oval. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take four little short Q-tips and we're gonna glue them to the top. So we'll put a little bit of glue here you can also use tape for this part if you want. And I'm gonna glue them down. So facing down, sort of in a little fan. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get two of my longer ones. So again, this is just one Q-tip cut in half, and I'm gonna glue them down like the little ears. So they're gonna be a little bit longer. I'll try to show you what I'm doing so you're not just looking at my face. So, the long one, and Another, ooh, the glue's sticking to my fingers. Another long one. See, how nice. And then if you want, depending on the size of your, your lamb head, you can fill in some more pieces around the edges. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cut a few more little short guys. So I didn't show you this process before, but it's really just using my scissors, popping them off, using my scissors, popping them off. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and stick those guys on. Voila. So simple. It looks a little messy right now, but once everything dries, it'll look nice and clean. So pause, let it dry, and then click play. Wonderful. So once your head is nice and dry, we're just going to add our face. So as you can see on this one, I made a little sleepy face. I think I'm gonna do the same thing again. It's kind of nice and sweet. So I'm just gonna do some eyes and a little heart nose and a mouth. And then I think I'll add some little eyelashes, why not? Very cute. 
Well, she looks a little bit like a zombie, but that's okay. Uh, and then if you want, uh, like I did for this one, you can add a little bow or whatever you kind of want. Um, I decided to use red construction paper this time, so I went ahead and I cut out my bow. And then I'm just going to take my black marker and I'm going to decorate it a little bit. So I think I'll color the inside of the bow black. I think I'm going to add some polka dots to this bow because I'm a big fan of polka dots. Yeah. There we go. It's cute. It's kind of mini mouse. And then once again, using my glue or my tape, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on to the top of her head. And see, I actually accidentally made like a little cone head. So I'm gonna cover that up with my bow. We can always cover up our mistakes. Amazing. So while that's drying, we're going to finish up the body. And all that's left of our body is we need our legs. So most little lambs have four legs. So we're gonna use four different Q-tips. And what I like to do is first take my tape, I'm gonna use the blue tape for this, and tape two legs together. You'll see why we're doing this later. And then I'm going to tape the other two legs together. Simple, simple. And then on the back, we're just gonna tape them down. You can glue them if you want, but my hands are starting to get pretty sticky. So I'm gonna choose to tape because I don't want them to be any stickier than they have to be. And nobody's ever going to see the back of your little lamb, so it's totally fine if you use colorful tape or whatever the sturdiest tape you have is. There you go. So I just taped it to the back like that. Now I have my legs. And the very, very last thing that we're going to do is we are going to add our head to our body. So the last bit of glue that you're going to need, stick it on there, and stick it on there. And it might take you a little bit to dry, so that's okay, but Look at that, Miss Brittany had a little lamb, and now she has two. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me yet again for another fun, family-friendly craft, and I can't wait to see you again next week. Thanks, friends. Bye.